Hello YouTube, Nathan. Today I want to talk to you about uh, how to clean out a CFL bulb. Now, uh, the reason why I'm making this video is because, uh, well, I have another project which involves uh, well, those little Christmas lights that uh, bubble. I did a little research and found out that it uses a uh, pretty toxic uh, chemical, so I can't do that best thing I could uh, think of doing, well, the toxic chemical, uh, I can't remember the name, but uh, it involved a small amount of uh, salt, not the table salt, but the other salt that, uh, like, you spread it around to create friction when it's winter, snowy, whatever. Can't think straight. Well, anyway, the idea is you uh, warm it up with your hand or light, and it starts bubbling. The chemical is vac. Uh, the tube is vacuumed to create more bubbles. You ever seen a video uh, where you vacuum out the air and the water bubbles? I suggest looking that up. Well, you vacuum the tube, and uh, well, you put the chemical in there and the salt, and vacuum the tube and it could be able to be heated up and bubble with warm um, just your hand or a light source heated light source now getting back to uh, what I was uh, trying to say before I went on this little train track of ooh, over there, stuff what I wanted to do was make a simple bubbler which uh, is water and an aquarium bubbler but I'm going to make it so it pumps in bubbles and water at the same time. At the same time. Look out for that video.
Caution, CFL bulbs contain phosphorus and vaporized mercury. So please dispose of the water carefully and wash your hands afterwards because exposure to said uh, mercury fumes can be hazardous to your health. When you open the CFL bulb, make sure you do it in a ventilated area or just do it outside. Thanks for watching. Please comment, like, subscribe, and click the bell icon for further notifications of upcoming videos. If you have any ideas for a project or you'd like to help a project, go to my Patreon page and comment your idea and also donate to help other projects along.